Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for grade 3. We are learning unit 12. Its title is Eidul Adha. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I'm going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students, today under the title of pronunciation skills, we are going to learn about stress and intonation patterns. Before this, in your English for grade 2, I have already taught you word stress and in intonation patterns in pronunciation skills. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again because we are going to learn further to recognize stress and intonation patterns and differentiate among them as used in statements and questions. So, beta, what we are basically going to learn, how in statement and question we use these techniques, stress and intonation pattern, and by changing how a statement and question can be pronounced. This is our today's essay. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 285. And they say, we hear and we obey. We seek your forgiveness, our Lord, and to you is final destination. Yes, my dear students, what this beautiful verse is saying us, what, what it is telling us. This is one of the beautiful quality of believers that whenever there is a command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they say we hear and we obey. Right? Now, my dear children, we'll try, inshallah, we'll also obey all the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to become good Muslims, to become good believers. Now, my dear children, look at this. You see, I tell you every time whenever there are punctuation marks in writing while reading or speaking, we express it, right? So, when there is a full stop, it means we have to stop here. When there is a comma, it means we have to stop here for a little while, right? This is how we read and pronounce. So, what we are going to learn today, how to express differently questions and statements okay so before that you tell me what is syllable and what is intonation pattern because we have learned about it in previous grades so pause the video answer these questions to your teacher and then come back yes my dear students i hope you could recall and you have answered correctly that in a word or in a part of a word a wall sound is called a syllable, right? A wall sound. And we know a wall sound doesn't mean a wall. There can be two walls which may give one sound, right? And its examples are rain, book, bee. There are two walls but one sound and these all are one syllable words. Remember? Okay. Now, to say this word, there are two syllables, purple, Glass, one syllable. Water, two syllable. So, it is a three syllable word. Basketball. In pronunciation skills, first we find out the syllables and then we find the stress syllable. We, we have discussed about it. What is stress syllable? A stress syllables are louder than non stress syllables. Okay, they are louder and I, to I told you they can be a little longer. When we say a word, if a part of a word is louder and longer, that is called a stress syllable. They are longer and have higher pitch. For example, when we say this word, it has two syllables and when we pronounce it, how do we say it? Chapter. So, this chapter, this one is the first syllable is stress. Inshallah beta, in your uh, higher grades, I'll tell you how to find out which syllable is uh, stress and how do we pronounce it. This we learn in higher grades. But for now, I'm just giving you concept of stress. When we say this word, chapter. So,
So our stress is on this syllable. Likewise, when this is three syllable word, banana, right? So when we say this word, our stress is on second syllable, banana, right? The way we say words and we say the stress words, let's practice it first. So it's activity time, what we are going to do. These words are given in your book and the bold part of every word is stress syllable. How you will pronounce it, pause the video, pronounce and teacher kindly make sure every child should read and keep correcting them for the stress syllable to pronounce the words correctly. So complete this activity and then come back. Yes, my dear students, now you understand when we say a word, a syllable in a word can be stressed and the other can be unstressed. The way we say this word, studying. So this one, studying is stress syllable. Likewise, when we say sentences, in sentence, in question statement, there can be words which are stressed and by changing stress and intonation pattern, the meaning changes want to find it how now look at these sentences in both sentences all the words are same is it so the only difference is in punctuation mark here it's a full stop and here is a question mark so we have to while reading or pronouncing it will be different how when you say this this is a statement this full stop is telling us this is a statement and this question mark is telling us this is a question. So how we'll say, it? if I want to say this as a statement, what will be my stress and intonation pattern? So my stress will be, means you said something to me and I want to say, that's right. So where the stress is on that, that's right, means you are saying correct. But once again, you said something and I want to inquire about that. I want to make it a question. How will I say? That's right. That's right. Do you think that's right? Now you see better for same words, only the pattern of saying the words is changing the statement. This is a statement and this is a question. So for statement, my stress is on that. That's right. So it is from high to low. That's right. And for question, that's right. Do you think that's right? Now you see how a statement and question are different. Don't worry, we are going to practice further. Okay, next example is, now see, what you like coffee, tea or a soda? Do you see how I'm saying the question? Would you like coffee, tea or a soda? This is a question because I'm giving options. So I am saying it in a different intonation. So this is what intonation pattern is rise and fall high and low. Would you like coffee, tea or a soda? I have all three. I have all three. So this is a statement. Do you understand? So, Peter, when we speak and when we read, we should give the correct expression and we should follow the correct pronunciation in intonation and stress as well, all right? Did you understand that? Do you have Dave's phone number? You see, phone, because I want to have phone number. That's why my stress is on phone number. Are you going on vacation? Are you going on vacation? This is how we make different statements. Do you understand? Are you enjoying it? Good job. Now let's see what does your book say about it. Intonation is the variation of speech. It is rise and fall on tune or voice and added to are added to words to color the speaker's feeling. How do you feel? How do you want to express yourself? We can say words kindly, angrily or without any interest. The meaning of word does not change but it may change the main idea of what is being said. Okay, so when we say a statement, only our way to say it can change the meaning. For example, this is, a, this is an example given in your book. If I read this question in a way, 
where did you find it? Now you see my stress and my interest. Where, where did you find it? So this is my focus. So to answer this question, you will tell the where is referring to place. So you will say, I find it in the cupboard. I find it in the cupboard. So where cupboard? Both are stress and high intonation. Okay. But if for the same question I said, where did you find it? I was finding, I could not find it. Where did you find it? Where did, now the statement is same, words are same. Only the stress and intonation pattern is changing the meaning. Where did you find it? Now you say, I find it in the cupboard. You see, for same sentence, for same words, only our expression can change the meaning. Are you clear with the concept? Let's practice it through an activity. So what we are going to do? Your teacher will divide class in pairs and will ask them to practice different intonation patterns in the following questions and the statements. There are questions and statements in your book on page number 99. So in pairs, you will say it with different patterns the way I just did it. Okay, so pause the video, enjoy the activity and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. Now, it's time for your homework. You will practice more sentences at home and notice stress and intonation pattern. Right now, I'm not giving you syllables. So, you will just focus on stress and intonation patterns. And here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is or modify it for your convenience and give a printed worksheet to students for practice. So what we have learned today, we learned to recognize stress and intonation patterns and differentiate among them as used in statement and questions. Are we done with it? Yes, so that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson and better the skill which we learned Every day for reading and speaking, you should try to follow it. Okay, so that's it for today. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah.